Hey everybody, it's Andy's free guitar video charts here, and uh, want to get us started with today's lesson. Um, you know, it's important to capture the the uh, the attitude. You know, and um, so let's get started. I know you want to uh, learn about guitar if you're watching this video. If you want to learn about Andy, <laughs> I can tell you that, uh, and you all probably know, that um, I went to school and I ha had earned a master's degree, and I even wanted to aspire at one point to uh, get a PhD, and so I know about teaching. I've taken over, I guess, 210 credits or something like that of college material 200 or over 200 so um you know and some of these are doctor level classes but um so i know and i've taken voice lessons uh not private i've taken i've taken a few private piano lessons i took private trumpet lessons as a child that's how i learned how to um read music um but I, my piano playing and guitar playing um, was not reading music although if I have to read music I'll read music I just don't like to read it on the staff um, so I invented this way of um, displaying guitar fret notes and uh, it didn't exactly happen this way you know it started out with putting notes on the guitar itself you know, and it started out with little sticky notes and masking tape, and that was about uh, in the 1980s. Uh, and I played a lot of guitar then, and uh, a lot of piano. Excuse me, I played a lot of piano then. So pianos couldn't follow me around when I got a guitar. I, you know, learned how to play that. But I've gone to college and uh, I've taken different uh, classes, and there's smaller classes that I find are. Um, Helpful, you know, I, I've taken the uh, restaurant serve safe class twice for food management. So I know about teaching and I know about being a student. And, and in this way, I'm both. So I actually learn. And I realize that it's important to review this <clears throat> before we move on to today's chart where we're going to try to do these progressions important about this chart is um, I don't know why we've got some kind of magnification here <laughs> a magnifier or something it should be a cursor but um, this is the major triad it's called a pattern stack but it's it's not strictly a pattern stack because you're really not stacking much if it's not going on top of one another. Uh, you know, and it's, it's like stacking bricks or something. If, if you want to look at this as a brickyard, right? It's a brick wall. Then And these would be, say, window bricks where there's no brick at all. Okay? And let's say the bricks above it, you know, have some uh, support in there. Like a little a, a piece of, uh, like a metal... Uh, frame or something. That's the way they do windows. So, um, the important reason why I put this up is because <clears throat> we're going to be looking at the at the uh, guitar fretboard in sections. And uh, my, my guitar is C-tuned, so your guitar would start here on E, mine starts here on C. I thought that was my great idea, you know. And, and I, that did help me a lot, but it also confused me because the first thing I did was I learned that I could go up the fretboard with basically the E shape, doing majors and minors. And the only problem I'd run into would be way up here where I'd have to, you know, I didn't know this at the time, but I'd have to do this half diminished thing.
so that would be kind of like this chord like this like this backwards C chord or something and then back up to the E shaped octave C but uh, I'm going to be changing over to guitars. Uh, the, the other guitar I have, I think, is a little bigger neck for me. But I like this one for now because it's got, the, it's got that C grid on it. It's got the C notes. Although when I play, you know, even though it's different, when I play a D minor down here, it's a D minor. Alright. So that's how I started out. And... For, for yesterday's lesson went a little rough and my wife was home and you know so um, I figure let's get this out of the way um, while uh, we have time in, in the morning here for my morning it's about almost 10 a.m. so um, <clears throat> it's Saturday so it's a nice day the, the, the weather's showing some promise but we really got wet yesterday so what we got here is if we do this arpeggio and this is in any major key you have the inversions we can learn off of this root is root 3 5 and then we have 3 5 root is the first inversion okay and then 5 root 3 is the second inversion now these shapes are are all P4 tuning as if you had tuned your whole guitar like this okay your guitar actually pitch wise would be like this so it would be and then instead of it would be all right so that's the way that kind of tuning all right is the way that this is is uh, depicted just you know is diagrammed <clears throat> and uh, so when you actually do get up to the top two strings there you have to warp up one fret to compensate for that tuning warp so we have this instead sounds like something out of Twilight Zone you know so what we do is to, to keep the pattern the same we just uh, play the same pattern going up into there so looking at this situation here where we have a, a second root chord up here all right and I do this a lot and I hope I hope this works um, we want to like grab this a little bit here I knew something was up with this so we'd have to take this whole situation here every single note because we're talking about two strings okay and we'd have to move it over but we're only going to move it over one fear not so how do i do this well i, I kind of know how how it would fit in that would be the tuning of a regular guitar you know and it's like okay straighten it out a little bit so you know it, the frets are straight but you pretty much know what it is. So that would be play it right off the well, play it right off the chart the way it would be. So say this is the root here, which is my C up here. It would be your C2. Okay. Root three five. Then we go to a perfect fourth from from five to root. Okay, and then we go straight up for the third because it came over the, the, the similar to the way this is, would come over like that. We had to move the pattern up like that because of the tuning. Okay. And